Hello everyone, welcome to The Life of Michael Jameson and another cooking vlog because the last time I did a cooking vlog it was really popular, you guys really enjoyed it and uh, I'm making some really crazy things today so I thought I'd uh, do another one. First up is going to be banana bread. So I've just put some bananas in the oven just on a very low temperature to make them black and sweet and syrupy. Um, they are quite ripe anyway but uh, it's always nice to do this, probably. I've never, I've actually only done it once before but uh, I had such a positive experience last time that I'm going to do it again. I'd better put my wedding ring on because I'm just popping out quickly to get some supplies and then I'll be right back. Right, so I'm now going to make about four things I think. The first thing I'm doing is the banana bread. We've got bananas so we want to use them up. Last time on Food Review UK on a shopping haul I was um, rightfully brought up on the fact that I'd brought non free range eggs. So from now on I'm going to buy free range. Right, the bananas are done so let's get them out of there. Right, butter's been creamed and I'm listening to the Frock Unwrap podcast. Nice. Guys, I absolutely have to show you the process of getting the banana out of the banana skin because it is so weird and sort of gross. Right, watch this. It's coming. Is that one of those razor clams? Yeah, it is like a razor clam, Claire. It's coming. It's coming. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at that, it's literally coming. Ugh. Let's do it again, let's do it again. Oh, look at that. It may not look the best, but all that sweetness that is created, oh, it tastes amazing. Right, it's a bit thicker than the last time I made it, but banana bread's going in. Okay, so next up, I'm making Jack Daniels glaze. I've prepped the sausage roll sort of things, because the banana bread is cooking, starting to rise quite nicely. But yeah, I'm just making the Jack Daniels glaze. This is the first time I'm making this, so let's uh, hope it's good. Okay, so the Jack Daniels glaze is now simmering. Jack Daniels glaze? That is for the chicken burgers and the Phoenix fries. Claire is starting on some washing up. Men cook women clean. Yes. And I'm going to start on the sausage rolls now. Because the banana bread is nearing its time, I think. First lot of sausage rolls done. Or nearly done. It's just It's literally pastry, sausage meat and then egg and fine. Uh, the next kind I'm actually going to be putting pesto in. Pesto and parmesan. My famous pesto and parmesan sausage roll. So I love my wife, she does a hell of a lot for me, of course. She's just cleaned up all that lovely mess. Uh, she's just done that, it's brilliant. Um, but this this is something that happens uh, on, on a, a permanent basis. This, this happens just, just all the time. Um, so I'm just cooking away, blah, blah, blah. She has blitzed the entire kitchen, thrown away the packet, which I need the information on to see how long it cooks for. And that is that has happened probably 150 times, I'd say. I love how you turned the camera on as I was upstairs, so... What? Bitching on my back. No, I don't mind where you are. But, to be fair, like, you've made these loads of times, like, you should really know by now. Different pastry, different temperatures. Banana bread is out. Uh, sausage rolls are being made. Got, uh, where are they? They're over there. These are the normal ones. On the podcast, I even say I'm going to make a sausage roll that looks like a shoe, but I am disappointed that that does not look like a shoe. Someone, someone do an impression of me where there's like the cheese on cocktail sticks, but it's got a sun-dried tomato on there as well. <laughs> no. <coughs> We're not performing monkeys, mate. They're doing impressions of me, and it's very insulting. <laughs> I don't know why they're even saying that. I don't have a northern it's accent. It's too, it's too, it's too easy. Oh, I don't understand that. It doesn't that sound color. like me. Okay, Claire is going to be first to try the butter bread and uh, some tea. Okay. Banana bread take up. There's the Jack Daniels glaze. All that's left is dinner now. On that very podcast that I was listening to, I said that the next time I made sausage rolls, I was going to make a, a sausage roll that looked like a shoe. 
Um, I wouldn't say I've really achieved that, but look, you can sort of see the laces there, the strip across the strip across of the lace. That's where the foot goes. Sort of. Okay, guys, some further progress has now been made. The uh, frazzles, which form part of frazzle dust, well, it is frazzle dust, have been dustified, which will be on the Phoenix fries. Uh, I've now made ranch, which will be on the Phoenix fire fries and in the burgers, um, and the pesto and parmesan sausage rolls have come out of the oven now and they will go into the container so it's good okay so the phoenix fries are about to go into the oven i say phoenix fries dinner uh, we're having chicken burgers with phoenix fries um yeah this is mental this is literally mental right we're nearly there that is the tray slash bowl for the phoenix fries ready to assemble the uh, chicken sandwiches, yeah, just waiting for the crisps to crisp it up and well all of it to crisp it up basically. It's had a little bit over the time that it says but obviously there's a lot of food in there so it's creating a lot of steam. I've opened the oven a few times to let the steam out which if it's a question of do you want to keep steam in and the heat in or let the steam out and the heat out, you want to let the steam out definitely guys. Crisper items is better. Okay guys, I've decided I'm actually going to film the assembly process of the uh, Phoenix fries because that is about to happen, right. Okay, I'm just putting a bit of glaze on the bottom of the buns. Some ranch on the buns. Okay, I can start assembling the fries now. I'm going to put the crispiest fries, which I've done on a separate tray, on the bottom so they don't get soggy. I don't think I've actually said yet. This recipe is basically from Almost Famous in Manchester. It's like a gourmet fast food joint and they serve this on the menu. Now I'm going for cheddar cheese on the burgers today. Usually I go for American cheese, but I'm wanting to go cheddar this time. Then a bit of bacon on each one. Then some lettuce. Now let's properly assemble the Phoenix fries. Okay, so a few more fries. Got sweet potato and normal. Some cheese, da Jack Daniels glaze, some ranch, some bacon rain, which is just bacon, frazzle dust, and then more fries. bacon rain including all those crispy bits and a bit of ranch there we go and that is it guys phoenix fries i actually forgot a final layer of frazzle dust there which i've now put on but yes guys that is homemade phoenix fries I'm now going to try it. I've not had Phoenix fries, homemade or otherwise, so this is the first time I've tried Phoenix fries. Also, I haven't had frazzles in probably like 20 years. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, that's obviously incredible. Salty, creamy, bacony. That's insane. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Huh? What is flying dinosaur? What is flying dinosaur? Flying dinosaur. No, I don't know what that is actually. Flying dinosaur is a 2015 home of flying roller coaster. What is flying dinosaur? Flying dinosaur is a steel roller coaster. Hmm? It's a flying. <clears throat> what is a flying? Oh, it is a flying. Oh, it is a flying. Guys, you might have been watching this thinking, Christ, that's a lot of food for two people. Uh, you're absolutely right, I'm not going to be touching my second burger. Claire, I imagine you'll be the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she, yeah don't rule her out. She's got a big appetite, folks. Don't let her size... Um, don't let her size fool you. I could eat you under the table. 
I usually give Claire a bigger portion than me. <laughs> Surprisingly. Yeah, way too much food for two people. I'm struggling to get through my first burger, to be honest. I haven't even eaten that much today. So yeah, I sort of had to address that because I knew people would be watching going, Ooh, what an animal. Judging me. Rightfully so, this is a ridiculous amount. Mum, I've done better than you. You did better than me? Yeah. You finished your burger. I don't even, mm -hmm. I barely got halfway through my burger. Oh, we're defeated, didn't we? Yep. How many sausages are you snacking on while you're cooking them? No, I only had two. This show is absolutely fucking shit and he is a massive prick. I've met him, he was a cocky twat when I met him. Shit show, shit presenter. Um, I'm knackered to be honest. From about half seven, half eight, half nine, half ten, half eleven, half twelve, half one, half two, uh, to, yeah, so about seven hours. I was doing video stuff. Didn't get, no, I, d I did do a lot of stuff. I uploaded like a couple of videos onto um, Comedy Channel, uh, like edited like eight food review videos probably. Maybe seven, six. Um, quite long ones as well, like the Fruck Show. Um, so I've got that all sorted, but I do need to do more because I'm away next weekend. Um, actually, I'll be here Sunday afternoon probably. Um, but I am away next weekend. So I have less time to plan for Christmas, but I do have a week off over Christmas. I've got um, working Christmas Eve, but then I've got like the full Christmas period off, which is the first time in several years I've had it off, which I'm super chuffed about because um, it's always my preference to have like the middle bit of Christmas off, the bit between Christmas and New Year. That's always my preference. Um, last year I couldn't do it because um, the basically the guy. I used to work in the customer service department and there were two team leaders, um, team managers I should say rather, <laughs> yeah I was a manager, don't don't demote yourself yeah, um, and last year he got it off, he was new, he was newer last year so it was our first Christmas together, so he had it off because he's got kids and whatnot, and fine, um, and then the year before that the person that I um, worked with at that point I said oh you have it off this year I'll have it off next year but she left so the new guy joined um, so yeah I haven't had it off in several years and I think I'm not certain I had it off the year before that to be honest um, so it's been a few years but I'm really happy about that like oh, I'm knackered even I can't hold up the camera with my arm yeah and then obviously this afternoon I've just been cooking loads making loads of stuff um, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog guys um, I'm pretty sure I didn't exactly film so much of the actual uh, like cooking processes, but hopefully you saw the in-betweeny stuff and I think the assembly of the Phoenix fries was probably pretty cool So yeah, another cook with me vlog type thing cook with me. I don't know. Nah. Tipping point is crap